what, what impressed you about it so much, Tyler? Um, it's, I, the, I love the design of it. Design it, is... They absolutely nailed very the, solid. the number one pain point that people have with Facebook, which is the ease of organizing into groups. Yes. Mm -hmm. In fact, they force you to do that. Let me show that here, because I think that this is the key piece. Uh, take a look at the monitors, everybody. Here is my list of friends, or here's a bunch of people who are in my circles, et cetera, my contacts. Um, and uh, so I can grab somebody over here. I'll just pick somebody at random. Um, <laughs> now, I can take a friend of mine like uh, this one here, and I can drag him into my friends group. He's already in there. Uh, or I can say, hey, he's um, a founder and CEO. And boom, it just magically adds him to this list. You can only... Um, add people to your social network if you put them into a circle. Right. Which means when you go then to post, right, so now that I've put Mike Arrington into founders and CEO and friends, um, or I can put um, Matt Cutts from Google here over into Peeps, well, I already put him in there. I'll put him into Pundits, I respect. I think I put him there too. I have a Googler group. Actually, I put him into my Googler group. So I put Matt Cutts into the Googler group. It's interesting you're boom. choosing to subdivide so much. Cause I am, because I, and then when I go to, look at this though, when I go to update, I can say, this is a post to only Googlers. And uh, I can say, it, it keeps your last group of people that you... Um, right, which is uh, which I, I think is actually, I have almost made this mistake already. Oh, yes. It's people a dangerous People are going thing. to send the things to the wrong group. Right, like they just sent to right. Googlers, and now yeah. they're sending to Facebook. They're going to have to come Using up with here. something, Look. revert back to everything back to public so people get used to something, because yeah. that's going to happen a lot. So now this post I just sent was only to Googlers, and uh, I will get, and, and that's kind of interesting to me, is that they mm -hmm. force that. And that is a direct, I believe, response to the privacy issues. Another interesting thing, I had emailed Larry Page when he took over at CEO to congratulate him. I just put him in a note. I know him casually through some friends. And I said, you know, if you're going to really take social seriously, you need to get a Twitter account. And you need to start using it because Sergey's got one, but they don't use it. Eric uses right. Schmidt uses it like once every three months. Uh, lo and behold, today I wake up and I look, and Larry Page is uh, here, he and he's account. showing photos of himself kiteboarding in Alaska, which, you know, usually CEOs, billionaires don't like to share this kind of stuff. Yeah. I think that this is the most important part of this. I'll tell you this. You, you Organizations run from the top down. I've always believed that. I always will. Larry Page is sharing kite photos. He gets it. Then you go over to Mark Zuckerberg, and I've never seen somebody this unhappy. <laughs> I mean, this I don't think Mark's looked this unhappy in, 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 since he couldn't get a date at Harvard. I mean, 